Hey Taurus, thanks for visiting this your weekly reading for May the 14th to May the 20th. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe, please, or please leave a comment if you'd like to. I have everything ready as usual. And the noise, I'm, I'm not supposed to mention the noise, I know, but I do. Uh, there's some noise going on outside as usual as well. So yes, I'm just going to get right into your reading for Taurus. I'm going to try and yell above the noise if it gets noisy. I'll do my best. The first card you have of your past is the Ace of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing this is about a beautiful gift. This is about a gift that, um, this is, this is a gift that came right from your heart. There was so much emotion behind this gift, straight from your heart. So this could have been a gift that, um, it might not be a material thing. It could, it could have been a material thing, but it could have been also, um, something like, um, you were doing something for someone, or you were sharing some really important information to help someone, or you were telling them something very heartfelt, or you were helping them or something like that. I'm just seeing someone who you really cared about, um, you were helping, or you were kind of giving this gift to them. And this was about, yeah, I'm seeing this was about peace. I'm seeing peace or peace of mind or something like that. I'm just looking at this dove at the top of this card. So this is this beautiful piece. You probably can't see this dove. I'm going to move around and go like that. There we are. You can see the dove at the top. I never do that. I, I always say I never do that. And then I keep on doing it. I've done it about five or six times lately. Um, so yes, there's this dove at the top. So you've given this person peace. You've given this person some sort of peace or peace of mind or something like that. And um, yes, they suddenly felt very, very peaceful after this. You really helped them inside themselves, whatever this thing you did or said to them. So yes, you gave them peace and you felt peaceful as well after this. So this was a gift that was um, good for you as well. The next card you have for your past is the Three of Cups. So yes, what I'm seeing is this person who you're helping felt really, really down. They actually felt... Um, down lower than other people. They weren't, they weren't, but it was like they came down, they were kind of brought down, and then you brought them up again so that so that they felt kind of higher again, equal to other people around them. Now they were equal to other people anyway. Nobody's lower than anyone else, no one's higher than anyone else, whether you're the queen or anyone, you're not higher than anyone else in my opinion. But that's how they felt about themselves and you brought them up again so that they felt um, equal to other people. That's um, what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense. Because I'm just looking at these three women in this card. They're all the same height. They look really similar and similar age, similar everything else. And you helped to bring them up to be equal to these other people. The other thing I'm seeing is that um, this also brought you both very close together. Because look how entwined these women are. They're all, they're all you know, they're almost, um, you know, they always have their arms linked together or something like that. They probably don't, but they look entwined. They almost look like one mass, but they're not. They're three people. So that's what happened as well. This helped to bring you closer together. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have your past is Temperance. I love this card. This is beautiful. Um, I'm actually seeing you... Yes, you were able to turn what you have. This is about turning something you have into a different thing. That's what I'm seeing in this card. It can be about... You know, it almost looks like a science experiment. She's putting these two things together and kind of mixing things. And it's like, you know, I always imagine people are cooking or doing a science experiment or something like that. So yes, this can be about that kind of thing. And, you know, alchemy is all about that as well, if you know what that is, turning one kind of matter into another kind of matter. And that's what I, I'm seeing you've done in your past. This is about you. You've had some really terrible um, experience or set of experiences in your past. I'm seeing that. You've had some really difficult personal circumstances and you really turned this around for yourself into something more positive. That's what I'm seeing you did. And so now here you stand at this time in your life when things are a lot more positive for you and you're a lot wiser because of what has happened to you in your past at this time. And that's probably why I'm seeing you really brought this person up in the Ace of Cups because I'm seeing that you probably were sharing that with them, helping them with what you'd been through and lifting them up because of what had happened to you and you were sharing that with them. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your present is the Chariot. 
So yes, there's someone around you who's a little bit, um, they're very guarded actually. This man in this chariot almost looks like um, he's sitting in a box and nobody can get near him. He was, he's up really high and he's in the chariot obviously, but he's up really high. He has barriers in front of him and, you know, guards in front of him with these sphinxes in front of him. He's well guarded, nobody can get close to him. So what I'm seeing with this chariot is that he has, there's a barrier. Someone has a barrier up in front of them so that nobody can get close to them. And I'm seeing there's a barrier between you and this person. And um, yes, this person is a very determined person. I'm seeing that. They, maybe they travel through their work or something like that, or they're away a lot with work or something like that. I'm seeing this could be a relationship situation or it could be someone you're interested in romantically or maybe you're just friends and you're thinking about them romantically. There's some connection. You might just flirt, but there's some romantic connection. You're very interested in this person. Um, yes, they've been hurt in the past. That's what I'm seeing. Sorry about that banging. They've been hurt in the past. Definitely. They've been hurt in the past. So they throw up this barrier because they've been hurt. That's what I'm seeing. They've been very busy with their work as well and they're probably using their work or being busy or something like that to try and hide the way they're feeling. They're hiding the fact that they're actually, um, they're wanting to hide behind this barrier and they're using their work as a barrier, if that makes sense. And um, yes, I can see this frustration. You're very frustrated. Look at this man's face. He looks really grumpy. So I can see you're probably quite frustrated by this situation. And I'm seeing that they're probably always going to be very, very work focused. So if you do resolve whatever this problem is with this person, uh, whatever is the, at the bottom of this barrier, they're probably always going to be someone who puts work first. So just keep that in mind. If you are interested in this person, if you do want to um, have a proper relationship or you want to go further with this person, keep that in mind. They're always going to be like that. So yes, the next card you have here present is strength. So this is going to be, um, yes, this is you. This is you. This is you. You're strong. You're always strong. I'm seeing that. But I'm seeing at this time you're going to be getting your feelings together, gathering your strength, getting your strength together, getting your um, courage together with this lion to try and talk to this person in the chariot. That's what I'm seeing. You are a very upfront person. I keep on seeing that. And I'm seeing that you are actually going to talk to this person. You're going to try and resolve whatever things you have, whatever problems you have with this person. And, you know, you have strength. You have a lot of strength. You have a lot of this inner strength, probably because of a lot of things you went through in your past. And you kind of don't mind facing up to this person and telling them things and, you know, finding out what's going on. Because when you've been through so much in your past, you kind of come to things in your future and you say, well, I've been through so much what possibly can go wrong now nothing worse can happen to me so i'm just going to go and say something so i'm saying that you i'm seeing that you are going to go and say this uh, to this person but i'm seeing that you know, you're going to have to be very um if you look at this uh, lion as well this strength card this woman's very very gentle with this lion she's like taming this lion so i'm seeing that you're going to be very careful in the way that you approach this person you're not going to jump right in and say what's going on you're going to come in and you're going to be very gentle and very careful in the way that you speak to this person the last card you have your present is the knight of wands so yes this person in the chariot look at this this person in the chariot looks like they're in control they look like they they know where they're going they're very you know they're forging ahead they're very business like they know what they're doing look at this look on this chariot man's face and then have a look down at the knight of wands which is what i'm talking about now look at the difference between these two one's totally in control the other one is totally out of control or the horse is out of control and the knight is trying to control the horse so i'm seeing that um yes the knight of wands is about the inside of this person the chariot is about the outside of this person the face that they put on to you so if you look at the knight of wands yes completely out of control completely stressed 
that this person's afraid of coming forward into a relationship, coming forward with you, because they're afraid of being hurt. That's what I'm seeing. They don't want to rush in. They think if they rush in, they'll be out of control. They won't know what they're doing. Their feelings will be all over the place, and then they're going to be hurt, and it's going to be a great big mess. And they don't want to go there. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing they don't want a relationship with you, but they're struggling with this kind of out of control, hurt feeling. So that's what you're going to have to try and address when you speak to this person. You're going to have to be very careful, very gentle, very diplomatic with this person. And you are going to be like that. I'm seeing that in the strength card. The first card you have, your future is the page of wands. So yes, I'm seeing a message here. The pages can be about messages quite often. And I'm seeing someone's going to want to talk to you at this time. So I'm seeing this could be a relative. And I'm also seeing that this person's younger than you. I'm seeing that the pages are quite young usually. And this person wants to approach you in person. They're not going to, not going to text you. They're not going to talk to you on social media. They're going to want to talk to you in person. So this, this could be a very personal thing they want to speak to you about, probably a very private thing. They're going to want to see you in person, in private, and speak to you about whatever this thing is. This is a very important thing to them. And um, this could be the person in the Ace of Cups. Maybe not, it could be, but I'm seeing this is a continuation of care that you've had for this person. So you've always cared for this person in the Page of Wands. And they know that and that's why they're approaching you and they also know that you're a very solid person and you have very solid advice but yes they're going to approach you and i'm seeing that they're going to have a private conversation with you this person the next card you have your future is the knight of pentacles so yes you're going to have to have patience you're going to have to have a lot of patience with this person the knight of pentacles is standing there very slowly he's a very slow card things happen very slowly um, with the knight of pentacles so this is going to take some time for you to actually get through to this person in the page of wands and actually properly help this person because i'm seeing they might you might be talking to them and they might have a few problems with um coming to reality about something they might not actually want to see the truth about something or something like that. And you're going to have to be very patient with this person. And again, I'm seeing this is probably a younger person. So they're probably going to have to, um, they're not as mature as you. So you're going to have to just use that um, discretion with them and just be very gentle and careful with this person. It's going to take time. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your future is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, this person that you're going to be helping is, yes, they don't want to hear the reality. And again, I'm seeing this here because um, if you look at the coin, if you look at the pentacle, that's all about stability. And they don't have a very strong grip on reality. And so if you look at this page of pentacles, um, this page is holding uh, the coin right on the tip of his fingers. He doesn't have a strong grip on this. He doesn't have a strong grip on strength, on you know stability, on his reality, on the real world, on the real down-to-earth um, world, earth, as I'm trying to say. I am trying to say what I'm trying to say. I hope this makes sense. But yes, he, this, so this person who you're trying to help does not have a very good grip on reality. They're probably a lot younger than you, that's probably why. And you're just going to have patience with them. And you do have patience with this person, you do really care for this person. And that's why they've come to you. So yes, eventually you'll get through to them, eventually you'll be able to help them, but it will take time, that's what I'm seeing. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. General readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching.